what? In this video, I am going to be talking all about butts. Shortest video intro ever. My name's Inwills, and welcome to the In Crowd. Hello and welcome to this personal video all about butts. Thank you to everyone who has been watching, liking, commenting on my previous videos. It's really super supportive for a small YouTuber like myself. And until I get loads of comments, if it ever happens, I will reply to each and every one of them, apart from the ones which are obviously people just trying to promote their own channels. Remember, if you have or are enjoying any of the videos on this channel, then please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. It really does help the channel, my self-confidence and self-esteem and also my dreams. And for a little extra support, the link to my Patreon page is down in the show notes. If you're not aware of what my dream is all about, then don't worry because there will be a card or something up there because I made a video of it. Okay, let's get to the main feature of this video. Butts. No, no, I'm sorry. I haven't misspelt the word in the title at all. I would like to say some words about how we use the word but as in B U single T. Now, believe it or not, I'm the sort of person that enjoys providing feedback. Every time I get a link in my email box to provide feedback about something, or even when I get that option to have the company call me back at the end of a telephone conversation, I always agree and endeavour to provide honest but constructive feedback. I very rarely have a rant unless somebody really annoys me or a company does and then I'm afraid I really go for it. However, rather than focusing on the negative all the time, I'm trying to change how I give feedback. I think we're very much hardwired to give negative feedback. We hardly ever say anything when things are going well and we are pleased about something. But when something goes wrong, then that's it. We go for it. So I'm trying to change that in my everyday life. To start off with, I try to make the effort to respond positively when I've had a really good experience or really enjoyed something or a product. It takes some time, but I think it's important that we celebrate the good things as well as the negatives. I've been on the other side of feedback when you're asking for feedback or people are just giving you negative and you very rarely hear the positive. And I thought, hang on a minute, I should try to change that. But hang on, I wonder how many times I've actually used the word but or buts in this video. I can hear you all thinking, I thought you were going to talk about buts in this video and not feedback. Well, what I'm trying to do, and hopefully I can encourage you to do as well, is to move away from using the word but in my feedback, whether or not this is written or verbal. How often do we I keep using we? Hmm, but maybe I'm the only one who does this. How often do we say something positive and then follow it up with a but? That was a lovely meal, but thanks for a lovely time, but that was brilliant, but it's almost that the feedback people or myself wish to do is negative, but we're trying to disguise it by presenting some kind of positive first. But then the, the but, I think, just ruins it. It almost like takes something away from the positive of what has just been said to you. So I am setting myself and you, if you are game for it, a challenge to stop using the word but in feedback. Give the positive feedback and stop. Smile 
and say nothing. Now, I've actually done this a few times already and I see the person almost waiting, anticipating the but, but it never comes. Sometimes they even use the word for me. So I give the feedback and smile and shut up and they say, but, but no, Th there isn't anything else. That is where the feedback finishes. That is where it ends. Now, if they say, do you think there's anything I could work on or develop? then I will provide them some more information, but still no buts. So you need to work on this, but don't worry, it was still good. No, not even then. Here's the positive. Here's what you need to be developing separate. They don't interact with each other. No butting together at all. Does anybody else remember that advert? No buts, it's got to be butter. And just on a side point, if anybody does give you positive um, in feedback or says something positive you, to you, remember you need to um, respond appropriately. Now, I've had to learn how to do this, mainly because I was real or still am really bad at taking compliments or accepting compliments. I tend to sort of like say something detrimental or, hey, in Will's great video, Thanks, but I still need to work on editing and sound and making it more, you know, interesting. My response, which I've had to learn, and now almost like going to autopilot every time people give me a compliment or any feedback at all, you, you might actually see me do it. I actually stop and think before responding. And then what I do is smile. Yeah, this is a smile and then say, thank you for your feedback. Yes, I know I even say it now when I get negative feedback. That was rubbish. Thanks for your feedback. Seems the best response in the long run. So that's me done for this video. I throw the gauntlet down to you all. Positive feedback, even when not asked for, and remove all those buts from that feedback. And if you do post a comment um, down below in response to my video, then here's my response to you. Thank you for your feedback. And to finish off this video, I am reinstating a, an ending that I used to use a long time ago, but I'm going to be engaging with this actual saying in the future. So I thought I'll pop it back in there. So here's the end. end little, Here's the outro for you. Until next time, please remember to be who you are and say what you think. Because the people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind. Have fun and I'll catch you all later. And until then, happy no butting. See you later.